Uh, if you find it really, if you find it really difficult to vibrate up in high positions with a hand vibrato, um, make sure that you're and uh, you're kind of a noob at it, and you are not very good at it, just like me. Then you should first of all make sure that your strings are not too high because that just makes life harder for us, <laughs> especially for me. Um, so I like to. Um, now that being said. Just to let you know that um, there are, I, ha I did study with a lot of uh, great teachers who insisted that hand vibrato should be used in the lower positions and in the higher positions you just should use arm. Um, I think that is not the perfect answer, but I hope that gives you a little bit of perspective um, in terms of, well, the fact that the, the, the awkwardness you're feeling up there in, in, especially with hand vibrato up there is well something that a lot of people have already felt and some people have actually concluded because of that that up there it should only be arm vibrato and down here you can do hand vibrato um, now uh, I found personally um, right now I'm too out of shape and this violin again I don't have my violin I can never have my violin um, the strings are really high so I don't know if I can even do it but it's actually um, just a matter of slow like, and diligent practice. Because I used to have trouble with hand vibrato, period. And after I developed hand vibrato, I was like, how can I do it way up there? Until I saw some great violinists do it, and then I was like, oh, so it's possible, so let me try to make it happen. And that's when I just started practicing it consistently um, all the way up here, so you'd be using... Uh, your hand, right? Not your arm, right? But more your hand. Okay, so instead of using the whole hand, uh, arm, ouch, you'd be using the hand more. Um, and uh, after trying it a while and trying to practice it, I realized, well, um, as long as uh, I understand what the the hand position is, uh, the difficulty I had could have, was just solved by simply practicing up there, because you know we usually practice vibrato here, you know whether it's hand or arm or whatever, and then up here it's, it's hard and we don't even spend enough time up there, you know, with like scales, you know. <laughs> So glassy and shoo. But in any case, um, we don't even spend enough time up there, and then let alone like practice vibrato up there. Like, how do we expect to to even think about being able to vibrate up there if we don't practice enough? You know. So uh, unfortunately, the answer to uh, what you should do with the hand vibrato up there is number one. Practice your hand vibrato in lower positions a lot so that you get the feeling. Number two, make sure that you're always bringing your hand around and you're comfortable with uh, finding good balanced, um, a good balanced position that makes you feel uh, relatively comfortable up there. Um, yeah, see, these strings are so high. Uh, and after you do that, it's just a matter of practice. Um, and it's the whole trial and error process after doing those first two steps that will help you find the balance point, okay? And find the balanced feeling of vibrating in higher positions with hand vibrato. Oh, 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 really quick thing. Uh, for most of us, you know, depending on the hand proportions, it's a little different. But for most of us, almost all of us, you really need to keep your arm forward and your um, fingers relatively taller, okay? Because if you're kind of flat, there's no way you can do arm vibrato. I mean, uh, hand vibrato, right? It's, it's hard to move the hand like this. In this case, you only have to do arm vibrato. But if your hand is higher like this, the hand is able to move better and you're not only restricted to arm vibrato. So it, it really depends on 
how forward your elbow is and how high you can make your uh, your fingers and hand. Um, that you know that will kind of um, help decide whether you're able to do hand vibrato up there in high positions or not.